the beauty of imperfection. We're talking about a clothing line, and a teenager has this clothing line. It's called Imperfect, the Imperfect Clothing Line, and they give back to creatives as well as to uh, charity. And this is an inspiring article, isn't it, Rebecca? It really is. Like when you think about this teenager, he's only 17 years old and he's already trying to do things to better the world. Absolutely. 17 years old. Did, do you remember your career aspirations when you were 17? Actually, I do. This is like right before college. This mm -hmm. is right before university. At the time, I wanted to be a doctor for Doctors Without Borders. Oh. Yes. I what wanted, is this organization? Well, Doctors Without Borders is an NGO. Um, these doctors go, these doctors and medical personnel go to the most unsafe places in the world. Mm -hmm. And then they help uh, in many humanitarian crises, like whether it's war or famine or um, many different types yeah. of crises, they will be there. Right. And that's called Doctors Without Borders because they don't care what country you're in, they're willing to go. Absolutely. Well, that was, those were your aspirations? Yes, that and, was my aspiration. All right, that's incredible. What a great goal to have. And sometimes what we think of at, you know, when we're a kid, we don't actually end up doing. But we see this 17-year-old, he's putting his ideas into practice right away at such a young age. And what are your thoughts about his clothing line and the ideas behind it? I really like the idea that he has the concept and he actually does it by hand. Like he started from his house, he started making things with his hands. So he used the skills that he had mm -hmm. and that's how he started. But after he got more su successful in this, he decided to branch out yeah. to help other creators that they can also join into this project. So he made th this project got bigger and bigger. And I love the idea of the imperfect brand yeah. uh, that nothing is perfect because yes. none of us are perfect right. and it's great to have imperfect pieces and they're truly unique. Yeah. I really love that idea. They are unique. It's pretty incredible. Well, at the end of day two, we see this line. Adam credits his time in Boy Scouts and a mission trip to Russia before the pandemic for instilling in him leadership skills and the drive to make a difference. Rebecca, what opportunities in life have made it possible for you to learn leadership skills? I think we get a lot of that at work. We have chances to show our leadership skills. But for me, one of the, when I was reading Adam's article, I was thinking about back in university, I joined um, a students group. We tried to raise money for women and children in Afghanistan mm. because they, at the time they had a war. So I think that was a really good experience with me working with other students because we had a student project and we tried to make a difference. So yeah. even in your volunteering activities or, you know, activities in daily life, you can learn how to lead. Yeah. You don't have to wait to get that promotion at work. You can mm -hmm. do it right from where you are right now. Very true. Great advice. Thank you for joining us for this segment of Insights. Be sure to check out our fashion article for more details. We'll see you next time here on Insights.